So here we are, um, back at the property. Going to go ahead and make our second attempt into installing the shallow well. When I went into town today to rent the electric jackhammer, the guy at the rental place told me that driving two inch pipe, uh, he doesn't have a tool for it, and that he only had a tool for inch and a quarter, and that it's more difficult to drive the two inch pipe than the inch and a quarter, and I had informed him that, well, I already have the pipe, I already have the sand point, and he said You're, he didn't have a tool to do it, and the only way to do it would be to use a sledgehammer. I definitely did not want to go through that again. So, uh, here is a shot of me completely starting over. Uh, so I have a inch and a quarter well, or a, a drive well point, four sections of five foot inch and a quarter pipe, the appropriate couplings, and then an electric jackhammer. And on this electric jackhammer, there is a tool that they have that fits onto the end and then the pipe or your well cap fits into this pipe and then as we connect it on to the um the the, the what do you call that thing i'm sorry i forgot <laughs> the uh, drive cap sorry when we connect it on the drive cap it should push all the way down completely all the way uh through. And he said it should take, if I was able to do 13 feet with a sledgehammer, relatively easy, uh, that this should take less than a couple of hours to do. Uh, to, as long as there's water there, he says I shouldn't have any problems as far as putting the well in. So that's what we're going to do. Again, nothing different as far as materials go from my first video. Sand point, some pipe, some couplings, a drive cap. The only thing different that I'm doing here is I'm using an electric jackhammer to pound into the pipe. Now I have a friend coming over tomorrow. He's going to help me make sure that the pipe goes in straight. I'm hoping to get it on video so you guys can see how exactly it's done. Um, but tomorrow should be the test for us to, uh, to get this in. Now here in the back, I still have all the supplies for the 2 inch. I've got my sand point and the pipes. And so I haven't quite abandoned that one yet. I'm going to do some more research to figure out what I can do to drive a two inch pipe or what I can use. So um, the supplies are still good. So I'm not giving up on that just yet. So I brought up my uh, Craftsman uh, generator and this is what I'm going to use to power the electric jackhammer. I'll just back the truck up as close to the opening uh, where I'm putting the well as I can and then I brought a couple of uh, 10 gauge uh, extension cords so that I can uh, get the power over to where I'm actually trying to drill the well. So this should do the trick. This should uh, run that uh, electric jack camera just fine. So if anyone was wondering how was I planning on uh, powering the, the electric jack hammer, this is it. I uh, can't keep it in the truck all the time, but it's nice to have uh, occasionally up here. And uh, so, yeah, this will definitely uh, provide enough power to do what I need to do. Okay, I'm at the point where I was last time. I'm down 13 feet. I'm going to check to make sure that I'm in water. So I just got a washer on a string. And I'm going to put it down in here and see if it comes back up wet. See if we can...
over here water. I'm bouncing in the water. That's 13 feet. Hope you can hear that. I'm in water at 13 feet. Not drinkable yet, but keep pumping like this for, I don't know, hopefully not too long uh, to get all that sediment out of the casing and stuff, but it's working well. <laughs> 